of humanity tried to make it through the end of civilization with guns and spikes? No, of course not. Just the poor ones. The people who built the seasteads were mostly tech millionaires. These humans thought technology would save them, so they left behind any humans with the practical skills to run the place. Instead, they trusted everything to automated assistants. Hello, I am Elena, your electronic seastead attendant. Hello, Elena. I am a human seasteader. Could you haul in the fishing nets so I can eat? I could, but I won't. Catch your own fish, you disgusting meatbag. Their plan was to seal themselves in a mountain and have dinner parties? This report states that their self-sustaining hydroponic systems began failing when a fungus wiped out their first crop. Starvation set in, and the survivors switched to something they called extreme democracy. Are you saying they went to Mars? Not all of them, just the really, really rich ones. Wait, I thought that's what the seeds did before. Those were for the merely millionaires. The obscenely wealthy 0.01% of humans decided they needed an entirely new planet. But what about the other 99.9? The elite were not sympathetic to their concerns. Yeah. Okay, but Mars? I mean, it's dead and lifeless. They could have taken the money they spent on the spaceships and used it to save the planet they were already on. <laughs> What's the fun in that? I hate to say it, but humans are the actual worst. Humanity had all the tools to heal their wounded planet and save themselves, but instead they chose greed and self-gratification over a healthy biosphere and the future of their children. 